What's so wonderful about baking and about cookies is the sharing. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a really big cookie that we shared, not because I'm offering it to you, but because we all dig in and break off pieces and share that one particular cookie. It has the, the, the holiday and cold weather spices. It's a little chewy, it's crunchy around the edges. One big cookie. I mean, a big cookie. Maybe this should be called one big cookie to share with friends, with family, with... I love this, I love this cookie, but I also love the idea of it. So we start with flour, all-purpose flour, and whole wheat flour. Whole wheat flour gives the cookie just a little bit of chew. I'm adding espresso powder. It's optional, but I think it's so nice in this mix. And a teaspoon of ground cardamom. I was recently in Scandinavia where cardamom is in everything and I just fell in love with the flavor. And it's perfect with cinnamon and with the espresso. And a little bit of salt. It's pretty just like that. I just whisk this together. I'm starting with cold butter because this cookie is, it's made the way I would make a tart dough or a pie dough. So I like to start with cold butter, brown sugar, and white sugar too. So you get the chewiness from the brown sugar and the crispness from the granulated sugar. So just until it comes together like this, it's still clumpy and not well blended. And I'm liking this. I'm going to put the flour mixture, the dry ingredients in. Oh, I love the smell of the cardamom. You can see the way it's changing, the way it's becoming kind of crummy. I'm going to grab an egg and I'm going to stir put a tablespoon of honey and then with the mixer on low So I'm using a mixture of chopped chocolate, bittersweet milk and white, and some chopped walnuts. These are optional, but chocolate. Oh, it's so nice. It's a firm, heavy dough that's going to be delicious as a cookie. Just gonna get it started with a few, a few pads. It gets rolled right from the mixture while it still will do as you tell it to do. Between two sheets of parchment. This is one big cookie in any shape it ends up being. Just roll it any which way. Don't worry about symmetry but do every once in a while. Pull and flip it over and roll on both sides. You're aiming for about an eighth of an inch, which is thin for a cookie that has so many chunklets in it. The thing about baking is we all love what we get from baking, but those of us who really love to bake love this part too. There's plenty of pleasure to be had in rolling the dough out, seeing it change, smelling it, patting it. Good job. This goes onto a baking sheet, into the refrigerator or freezer. You want to get it chilled before it goes into the oven to bake. So 
just take the top sheet of parchment off the cookie and bake. I love cookies because they're one to a person. But when I make this cookie and serve it, there's something about it that just makes me very happy. It's like putting people around the table, which is always such a nice thing to do. This is putting people around the cookie, and that's a really nice thing to do.